pay insurance or other things, but also for many Americans, some of those costs are very high. Uh, similarly with housing, I think we have a lot of folks who... Let me ask you, so notably, issues around ethnicity, race, equity are not in those top five, which isn't to say that isn't important to this community, but it isn't in those top five that you just mentioned. Can you talk to me about, um, your from your polling, where does do issues, concerns around equity and um, identity, um, ethnicity fall? Or, or is this just something that really is not front of mind anymore? There's different ways to look at things. One of them is on the top priorities, people are very specifically asked, what are the top things that you think our elected leaders should do something about, right? And so those are the, oftentimes what we are going to think about are the daily, you know, the issues that we're dealing with on a daily basis and on a daily basis and that we can see are more actionable. For example, we see that healthcare costs, um, I think Latinos feel that government has more they can do to make sure that everybody's able to afford healthcare, right? It's not that people don't believe you should pay insurance or other things, but also for many Americans, some of those costs are very high. Uh, similarly with housing, I think we have a lot of folks who are working and are having to move further and further away from where they work to where they live because of cost of living if they can find affordable housing. So those things are very important. It doesn't mean that other things are unimportant. So for example, right now, during a time that we are alarmingly, I think for most Americans, seeing that talk about division and stirring up antagonism against one community or another is, is getting normalized. Um, because we are hearing that even from some of our elected leaders. And so for the Hispanic community, for voters, nearly 80%, I actually think it's more like 88% believe that it is really important for elected leaders and candidates to denounce white supremacy or hate speech, right? They also believe that one of, one of the most important traits for a presidential candidate is somebody who values the diversity of our country and who can bring people together. So there are different ways in which that interest shows up. And in some ways, because people have also felt that when those rhetorics turn really toxic, um, people who look different which sometimes can be Latinos, depending what community we live in, can be can experience really bad treatment. I mean, one of the one of the worst examples of that, perhaps, is the massacre we saw in El Paso, where very toxic rhetoric about Latinos and about immigrants led somebody a, a U.S. citizen to travel across state lines to murder people. And so that is one of the reasons why I think gun violence has also risen on the list of concerns for these voters, because they have seen both the effects of gun violence, whether it is acted upon by individuals who are being influenced by hate and rhetoric that some of our elected officials do or simply because of the easy proliferation of two guns, which is one of the concerns these voters have, are working and are having to move further and further away from where they work. Ethnicity, race, equity are not in those top five, which isn't to say. Let me ask you, so notably, issues around ethnicism that we can see are more actionable. For example, we see our elected leaders should do something about, right? And so ward healthcare, right? It's not that people don't believe you should, they're very high. Uh, similarly with housing, I think we have a lot of folks who- um, 
identity, um, ethnicity fall? Or, or is this just some, where does, do issues, concerns around equity and... Um... Those are the, oftentimes what we are going to think about are the daily priorities people are very specifically asked, what are the top things that you think